New problems for Starliner. More leaks and failing thrusters are complicating the flight test. Yeah, astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are safe at the space station right now, but docking came with some unexpected challenges. Fox 35's Esther Bauer is live at Kennedy Space Center. So Esther, Starliner now has three leaks in that capsule. When we were here at the press site yesterday, we knew that Starliner was launching with one softball sized helium leak, but when they got into orbit, two more leaks unexpectedly popped up. This means the spacecraft is losing helium, which is starting to affect the thrusters. Now, thankfully, the astronauts were able to safely dock at the space station just a few hours ago. NASA and Boeing say the astronauts are safe and the vehicle is stable at this time. This arrival overshadowed by new unexpected problems for Starliner. Unfortunately, a couple more have occurred once they've reached orbit. The spacecraft is stable, but before docking during a thruster test in orbit on Thursday, five thrusters failed. This comes after some troubleshooting of some reaction control system thrusters. Uh, those are also known as RCS thrusters on the service module portion of the Starliner spacecraft. We're seeing some of these thrusters have failed now. Is that all relating to these helium leaks? Yes. Yes, okay. because without the uh, ability to uh, force the propellant into the thruster, it won't operate. Dr. Don Platt runs Florida Tech's Spaceport Education Center. He compares this issue to car problems here on Earth. If you use gasoline, you have an electric pump that pumps the gas into the engine. Without helium, the thrusters can't get power. NASA and Boeing investigated the data while the capsule waited about 200 meters or four Olympic sized swimming pools away from the ISS. They will definitely make sure that failure is not an option. Boeing was able to recover four of the thrusters that failed. The astronauts keeping their cool in orbit, not seeming phased at all by new issues. Nice to be attached to the big city in the sky. While docking was delayed by about an hour, the astronauts still made it safely. Platt says that's because the teams on Earth and in space are prepared for whatever else could go wrong. They've had even more challenging situations in training, I'm sure, than this one and have been able to figure out solutions and to get through it. And this mission is supposed to be about a week long for astronauts to test all of Starliner's capabilities while it is docked at the International Space Station. But Bo blah, excuse me, but Boeing needs to run a lot more tests to figure out just how much helium they are losing since they have more leaks than they originally thought about. Now, just a few minutes ago, a press conference did kick off here at Kennedy Space Center. As soon as I wrap this up, I'm going to head into that. I'm going to be back tonight at six with new details from a officials on the mission reporting live in Brevard County Esther Bauer Fox 35 news.